All right, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today, I'm gonna dive in and I'm gonna show you an overview of the Google Docs file tab. We're gonna get to know the Google Docs file tab, what's in there, what does each item in there do, why would you ever need to use them. It's basic, but it's important stuff to learn about Google Docs. And by the way, I've broken this up into chapters. What are chapters? Go down to the description. You'll see, maybe you know most of what's in file, but there might be one certain thing that you wanna just skip ahead to. What does this button do? What does this feature do? Well, look in the chapters, the little blue number, you click that, it takes you right to that point of the video. So you can skip ahead and watch the parts that are most applicable to you. Hope this helps. Let's get started. Next, you've got your file tab. What does the file tab do? It does a few things, all right? So if you click on file, if you've ever used Microsoft Word, it's almost identical. New, that's where you create a new document, or you can make one from one of the templates. Remember, we showed you there's different templates. Either do a blank document or a template document. Open is where you would click to open a new file. So how do you open a new file in Google Docs? You from if you're within the document you click file open like that or the keyword shortcut is command o and that will allow you to open a file you can actually do one from your computer if you do it that way or if you're in google drive or google docs you simply navigate to the f file you want or you search the file right here. And once you find the document that you want, you just double click it and that will open it. So there's a couple different ways for you on how to open an existing file in Google Docs. Next in the file tab, you can make a copy of a, of a document. Maybe you want to turn this document into a template or you've got a version of it that you don't want to screw up. And so you want to, but you want to make some tweaks to it as you work on the final version. This is how you would do that. You would hit make a copy right there. And you could make a copy, okay? You can share this. This is how you share a file with others. Let's dive into the share settings. When I click on the share button, share with others, it's going to give me options to share with a specific email address. I can do that, type in a specific email address and click done and it will share it with that person. Or I can copy a link and send that link to a certain person. You do need to make sure that the link is set to the settings that you want before you do that. So click on change to anyone with the link and you will dictate who can access this link. Right now it's set to anyone with this link. So anyone who copies and pastes this big long link right here, they can go to that link and view it. I can change it and allow them to comment on it. I can change it and allow them to edit it if I want them full. That would give them full access to the document. Viewing would allow them just to read it. Commenter would allow them to make comments and give insight. Maybe you're collaborating on a on a essay or collaborating on a project. They could do that, but they wouldn't actually edit the document. They would just make comments. Edit, full access. They could delete everything. They could do whatever to it. So be careful who you share that with. Anyone with the link, this here you can change and you can restrict it from anyone with the link. That's the easiest way to share it. Anyone with the link means that they just click the link, you copy and paste it, send it to them. Restricted means you have to actually put their Gmail account, their Google account in here for them to have access to that link. So that's more security, but sometimes it's more of a pain in the butt because you have to actually put people in one by one. So that is how you share a document with other people on Google Docs. There's actually another way. You can click that button right there and do the same thing I just showed you that we did within file. The publish to web button is simply basically makes a little mini web page. You can either have a link to it or you can embed it on a web page. Click publish. Yes. And then now you copy and paste this into WordPress, into whatever your web page platform is to put this document in there. Or you just get a link and that's basically like sharing it. You can publish it that way as well. That's what the file publish button does. 
So what does the file publish button do? That's what it does. It allows you to publish your content to the web in the form of a web page in someone's browser. Okay, the next item on the file tab is the email. You can email this file directly to someone right here by clicking email this file. That will open up your Gmail. You can send an email. If you don't know how to send an email, go watch my other videos. I got all kinds of videos on how to send emails. But that is where you would send an email. You can accomplish the same thing as file email. You can accomplish that same thing with file share, copying and pasting the link like I just showed you and just pasting that into an email in your, in your email program and sending it off. You, maybe you want to download this file um, and use it on the desktop or send it to somebody or uh, use it in Microsoft Word. You can do all of that right here. You can click download and you can download it in different versions. So how do you download your Google Docs file? You click on file, then downloads, and then you choose what format you want it in. Most common that you'll probably use would be Microsoft Word if you want to take this and then edit it in Microsoft Word. Or PDF if you want this to just be a PDF file that you can send to people. They can't edit it, but they could print it off. They could read it. Um, PDFs are really handy and used very often. There's also EPUB, which is like what your Kindle uses. It's what your uh, your eBooks use. Different formats. The most common ones you'll use again are Microsoft Word and PDF. So that is how you download your Google Doc file. Next, how do I change the name of my Google Doc file? I can do this two places. I click on File. Actually, I think you can do it three places. I'll show you. I click on File. This is way number one to change the name. And I scroll down and I click Rename. Look what that did. It took me right to the name. I can now change the name. Okay. I can also simply click on the name. If it didn't select the whole thing, I can double click or click and drag and select the whole name and then simply change the name. All right. So the third way to change the name of a file is in Google Drive. You've got your list of files. You can simply find the file that you want to change. Right click it if you're on a PC, control click it if you're on a Mac. Again, right click or control click depending on if you're on a Mac or PC. Control click is the Mac version. Right click if you're on a PC. And then this menu pops up. You click rename and you change the name. Click OK. So now you've learned three ways to rename your file in Google Docs. The next item or feature on the file tab is how do you move a file to a different folder right here. You can move a file three ways in Google Docs. I already showed you one way. This would be a second way. I'll show you all three one more time just for safety. Way number one, click on file, go down to move, click move, and then choose what folder you want to move this to. Click move and it moved that to the folder. You can also write next to the name. I showed you this earlier, but you click move. Find the file you want to move it to or the folder you want to move it to. Click move. It moves the folder. And the third way would be simply to be in Google Docs and click on the file you want to move and drag, sorry, click and drag it into a folder and it moves it into the folder by drag and drop. So there you have it. That is how you move a file into a different folder to stay organized in Google Docs. That's how you do it three different ways. The next item on the file menu is the Add Shortcut to Drive. What does this do? I'll show you. If you click Add Shortcut to Drive, you can put it in my drive or you can put it in one of the folders, but it's basically gonna keep it at the forefront so you can get to it quickly. Now, if you come back to Google Drive, you should see a shortcut right up here to that file so I can get to it easy.
That is how you create a shortcut to a file in Google Drive. And that is what that feature under File Create a Shortcut does. Okay, you'll notice it changed to add another shortcut to Drive because I've already got a shortcut to Drive. Maybe I want to delete the file. How do I delete the file? I go File, Move to Trash. I'm not going to do this, just trust me it works because I want to because I want to continue editing this file. All right. How do you go back in time and find an old version of this document if you've messed up? How do you recover that if you've made a lot of mistakes? You can always do an undo, right? But that's only going to go back one or two moves during that editing session. What if you want to go back to like two days ago before you really messed up this document? You can do this by going to File, Version History, and you can see the version history. If you click this, it'll show you all the saved versions of this file. I only have one because I haven't really done anything yet. But I could go back to whatever one, and if that's the one I want, I can then save that one, rename it, and start editing from there without the changes or mistakes I may have made to the document. So that's a really cool way to recover a lost file or a file that you messed up. You do file version history. What does the details button do under file? Well, let's click on it and see. It just tells us what this file's name is, where it's located, who owns it, when it was last modified, and when it was created. Just basic information about the document. That is what file details does. You can change the language of the file. How do you change the language of a document in Google Docs? You click on file, just like everything else so far in this video. File, language and select whatever language you want to edit in. That is how you change the language of a file in Google Docs. Next in file, you have page setup. What is page setup? It's pretty simple. Page setup is where you set the margins you want all the way around. It's where you choose if it's portrait, which is what a normal document is, or if it's landscape, the long way, like a wide picture, okay? It's where you can choose the page color. If you want your page to be a different color, watch. Now my page is red. I don't know why you'd want it to be red, but you could. Page setup. Choose page color. You can set up a default. So maybe you want it to look a certain way. You can set that up and click set as default. You can also choose a page list option, which would be for web viewing. You could allow it to be wider than a normal page and not be restricted by what fits on paper. Sometimes that can come in handy. But that is what the page setup feature does. And you get to that again by going file page setup. All right, now, how do you print on Google Docs? Well, that's the last two items in the file menu on Google Docs. So print preview is simply, let's just see if it's gonna look right. Let's just see if it's formatted right. It'll give you a preview of what the file is gonna look like when it prints. And if it looks good to you, you can then hit print and print the file. That's what print preview does. If it's not right, you come back, edit it, and then you go file print preview again. If you're ready to print, there are two ways to print. You can simply click on file right here, file, and then go down to print. And that will send it to your printer. My computer's not hooked up to a printer, so you're not gonna see it actually print. You could also push command P on a Mac, command P on a PC, control P. That will send it to the printer. One more time, it's a shortcut. On a Mac, you hold down Command and hit P for print. And on a PC, you hold down Control and hit P for print. Or a third way to print, there's a nifty little printer button right here. Hover over that. It'll tell you that it's the printer and click Print. So there are the three ways of how to print on Google Docs. Now that's it for this video, guys, for this tutorial on how to use Google Docs. We've shown you everything you need to know about the File tab. How to use Google Docs, File tab specifically. For more in-depth videos or to learn about what all these other buttons do, go watch the full tutorial. The link is in the subscription. Or watch some of the videos in the playlist I created of tutorials on Google Docs. Have a great day. This is Kurt with Teach Mom How. Watch more videos, learn more things, and remember, you can learn to do anything.